As you know, two days ago, there was happened a, a terror attack in the capital of Islamic Republic of Iran in Tehran against uh, on Azerbaijani embassy, on Azerbaijan embassy, and it was a tragedy. As a result of this incident, there was killed a man, one person, and wounded uh, two other persons. And a man uh, by na his name was uh, Yasin Hossein Zare. He entered to the uh, he entered to the uh, Azerbaijani embassy building and opened fire, and uh, he committed a crime. Um, right now, there are uh, some rumors uh, about this uh, terror attack. Uh, Iranian regime, especially Iranian government, and uh, the spokesman or foreign minister of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Kanani, has said that there is a uh, personal motive behind this incident. But we know that uh, <clears throat> especially Islamic Repo Revolutionary Guards has a great experience, especially in the Middle East, and they commit uh, various of uh, terror acts. Uh, and uh, that's why I say that they have a great experience. Uh, this is a terror act, and it, this, uh, the perpetrator, it doesn't matter who is this person. He is a simple perpetrator, and uh, the uh, footage uh, civilians uh, uh, of cameras release a uh, release on social media uh, release on social media uh, uh, revealed that it was a uh, it was a terror attack there is any kind of uh, there is any kind of uh, personal motive behind this incident it was this uh, terror attack was planned at Azerbaijan embassy and uh, the gunman the gunman uh, first of all destroyed uh, the security guard in front of uh, in front of Azerbaijan embassy then ent then entered the building and he tried he tried to to kill all people but he says that uh, his uh, wife was disappeared uh, it was already eight months and he saw that his wife was in 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 this building but it is absolutely incorrect and um, it is comic i think that this incident this terror attack was planned by islamic revolutionary guard and they wanted they tried they did their best to kill all embassy personnel all diplomats and their families but uh, they failed uh, to do this act i think that iran after the war with armenia in 2020 and after Azerbaijan gained a great victory over Armenia and liberated uh, the large part of it is occupied lands, Iran has has problems with Azerbaijan. Iran uh, right now Armenia, uh, Armenia uh, is uh, is a, is friend with Islamic regime and uh, this regime uses Armenia uses this country against Azerbaijan. And because of Zengezu Corridor and other geopolit geopolitical projects, Iran uh, Iran hates to our country. That's why Iran will continue uh, its terror attacks uh, and other uh, politics against Azerbaijan Republic. And right now, Azerbaijan has uh, uh, alliances in the world. And Turkey is a strategic uh, ally, the partner of Azerbaijan, also Israel. And Iran is disagree with Azerbaijan-Israel relations. Uh, Iran can't accept uh, the Israel and Azerbaijan friendship, uh, but it is unacceptable. Azerbaijan is a sovereign country. Iran has got relations with Armenia, the arch uh, enemy uh, of uh, Azerbaijan. But and and I think that Azerbaijan has got also a right to have. The close relations with Jewish state. I think that uh, uh, the relations with, between Azerbaijan and Turkey and Azerbaijan and Israel will be developed in the future. But I think that Azerbaijan, especially security services, uh, uh, have to be uh, have to be attentively against any actions uh, coming from Iran. And I think that uh, in the, I have. I have read that Azerbaijan, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, will evacuate it is uh, diplomatic personnel from Iran. Uh, it is necessary, and in Iran, uh, it can happen everything against, against Azerbaijan citizens and Azerbaijan diplomats, and uh, and etc. And I think that in the near future, uh, we will have um, some uh, problems with with Iran. From this from this point of view, I think that we have to be. 
attentively on Iran and uh, we have defend our uh, sovereignty and security as possible as we can.